Alright guys, it's Glader here, back for another episode of our Civil War series. Hopefully this records, otherwise I'm wasting my breath. i got a weird deployment, nothing's actually deployed out. I'm aware of that. So, anyway. Okay, so real quick, we got guys hiding in the trees over there. Two regiments of infantry, regiment of cavalry, engineers here. They've put a minefield down right there. This battery's going to push up to the hill right here. They're not deployed. My cav's gonna push up into the trees. This cav's gonna hide. These guns are deployed. And this infantry's gonna form a line. Actually. Okay. So, ready, set, here we go. Second Battle of Richmond! I don't know if those guys are actually going to be able to move there, but we'll find out. We'll get Lee up there. Get this man on the reverse slope. Where are the Yankees? Got the horse artillery. Let's move our men up. Okay. Did I not unlumber these guys? Or can they just not hit anything? Ooh. Artillery duel! Oh, Grant! Grant's men are routing! What a hit! Accidental hit! Just fire anyway, maybe you'll miss. Right? Right? Oh god, we're in our own. Maybe not. Maybe we didn't hit anybody there. I thought we did. Anyway, getting distracted. I'm probably not going to hit shit from right now up here, but whatever. This is all for future prep. Now I am gonna let the Union just prepare and get their uh, reinforcements. Militia. That would not hit anything. Got a couple of infantry there. I need. Oh, here we go. Open it up on the hill. Massive hit. Look at this. Massive hit on the infantry. On the Union infantry. Union artillery has decided it should probably redeploy. It's not a half bad idea. Their artillery just obviously has no range. That's oh! Grant's dead! Grant's dead! Break off attack! Grant has died! We have killed General Grant! The only general besides Sherman who could probably match Robert E. Lee. I 
there's no point in me even moving my infantry at this point. I've got my men in reverse slow. Now, something looks funny about this. State Militia. Iron Brigade. Alright, so we're gonna start pounding the Iron Brigade with our battery on the right. The Yankees have decided this is just not working out. Oh, oh. Oh my god, they're oh, as they're retreating, they're being stuck. Oh my god! They have to be shattered. Yeah, they're not coming back. Look at this! Good lord! Their battery was slaughtered! Okay, this is about to get really quick. Captain, our battery fire is over. Make sure we're hitting that iron brigade. Iron brigade is taking losses. Let's get these guys hitting the bucktails. What's over here? Union State Militia, Irish Brigade, Pennsylvania Bucktails. Now would be a perfect time to move our left wing. This is not going according to plan at all. I'm going to 
sacrifice my good egg now. Catch him with a run in the flank, yes! There we go. We've got fighting on our left there, right flank. I mean, we have just absolutely imposed our will on them. Cavalry, come on! Get over here! Assuming it's a town outside Richmond, not uh, Richmond itself, there's gonna be.
So we lost 699 men. Ah, man, I only lost 500 something my first go around, but whatever. My Confederate engineers had no veterancy. They now have four. Good lord, that is not a unit you are screwing with. The Union lost all of its troops, pretty much. Let's view battle statistics real quick. Robert E. Lee had... Wait! <laughs> Robert E. Lee had 21 kills? That makes no sense. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> oh, Lord. Confederate regular infantry... I wish you would say which one. Had... 330 kills and only lost 62. The Confederate engineers lost most of them, but had 312 kills. The Vedette cavalry lost two men and did 194 kills. That's the unit of the day. As well as Confederate regular infantry only lost nine men and killed 129. These are some crazy statistics. So yeah, the Union has lost the battle, and as I told you, we would be coming back strong. Captured Richmond. The Union has like 17 armies, so there's going to be a lot of lag, as I said right there. It'll be scary if they combine them all. Okay. We got a skirmish in the Carolinas. And here's where we're gonna run into some trouble. Did that move our capital back to Richmond? It did not. Where is our capital? We don't have a capital. We don't have a capital city. What the heck? The capital Richmond. Okay, it's just not showing up yet. Maybe it'll show up next turn. That's weird. Alright. So here's where we're running into some issues. You've got the Union, what I'm going to call is the Army of the Ohio, which, not great troop quality, but still a pretty decent amount of troops here. They've got about 11 units, and if I attack, they'll have those reinforcements, 13 units. And most of it's militia. We, our army here, will do work. we got 21 Sir. units. Which we need to switch out. Yes. Anything more? Okay. So we've got 20 units with one, two, three things of Confederate regular infantry, four things of Zuaves, several things of OK Cav, Stonewall Jackson as our commander, and several units of Howitzers. But we do have a lot of militia, and they're bringing up. The veteran army of old army of the Potomac, which I don't even know what we call them now. Hmm. The generals of Baller, Oswald Hamilton, Chamberlain's there. They do have two things of horse artillery, which has just been getting destroyed by me in battles. They did bring a howitzer. They brought the 54th Mass, veteran 20th Maine, veteran Custers. Veteran line of tree or militia that I don't care about. Veteran Zwaves, but not that veteran. Veteran sharpshooters. So yeah, when they combine all this, this is going to be a reasonable force. We have Jeb Stewart. Yes, sir. Onward. Okay. Ready and waiting for order. Make ready. So, what are we recruiting down here? I'm not sure. But this is going to be the first Texas, because we never named him. The second Texas. gonna call these guys the first Longhorn Gunners. So yeah, we got the Army of Southern Texas. 
I guess it's not really Southern Texas. Just the Army of Texas. First Texas Cavalry, that's good enough for me, whatever. Okay. So these guys will either be... We'll probably split this army in half, see if we can't take St. Louis. And then, uh... Maybe... Yeah, we could probably take St. Louis. If I can destroy these, this army in Kentucky that they're going to form, take Kentucky, move an army up, take St. Louis, hold the line, hopefully we can make moves on Michigan and Ohio soon, then Buffalo, and we'll start ringing them in, and I don't care about Nebraska out there. I might even be able to get that. Sir. But anyway, Jeb Stewart, the famous Virginia Cavalier, will now be in charge. Oh wait, what is this? We can get Mosby, Johnson, Longstreet, Pickett, Beauregard. Good. We should be able to get all these guys. Wait, what? We can get Mosby. We'll recruit Mosby. Some Irish Brigade, Louisiana Zouaves. Better at sharpshooters. I don't know what else we'd want. How much money are we making next turn? Not a whole lot. Okay. Well, let's save the game. to save it here because that was a long battle. Um, and I don't know what's going to happen next. Well, actually, we'll, we'll hit in turn just see what happens and then we'll, we'll call it quits here. So, let's hit in turn. Oh my god, I hate you guys so much. Just combine into a couple armies so we don't have any lag. These armies all reinforce each other. Can you imagine if I attacked one of them? There would be like 17 different reinforcing armies of like one unit. Well, this is an interesting proposition. Yeah, I'll sim it. That's what I'll do. Because there's no reinforcing Glorious armies. victory! So that gets rid of a Union Cav, so, so they can't raid as much. Now, it looked like they were abandoning the line in Kentucky. They're also pushing down from St. Louis, from what I can tell. And they've passed me in the Carolinas. This is getting annoying. Alright, well, I'm just going to call it at this turn, though. So until the next episode, I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day. Bye.